Some detailed shots, some birthday shots, some money shots. We got a good one today. What up folks, I'm Jacques Slade. Welcome to Today in Sneaks. Hope is all is well on that side of the camera. Let's start the day off with some Jordan retro love that isn't going to be hitting stores till June. But the shoes are not what most people expected. This is the Air Jordan 7 Pure Money. Originally the thought was that the pairs were going to have all white overlays with patent underlays, but it appears there have been some pink added in in the mixture that no one expected. Considering that these may not actually arrive till June, things could change, but I honestly don't know. I am not sure how I feel about these. I Definitely couldn't pull off the pink. I'm just not cool enough. Either way, the streets are saying this colorway will arrive on June 3rd and they will cost you $190. Switching from Jordan to a former Jordan player, Dwayne Wade is dropping a birthday colorway of the Way of Wade 5 with Lee Ning. Wade was born on January 17th and Lee Ning sent out special versions of his shoe to the media and this pair in particular fell into the hands of the guys over at Sneaker News. For those of us that didn't get them early, you can pick up a pair this weekend. The shoe features metallic gold on the tongue, a carbon fiber shank and restructured jagger tool on the upper, which looks very nice. Uh, if you are a Wade fan or if you just like the Way of Wade, you can grab a pair over at wayofwade.com and Edition Boutique out in Miami. One of the shoes that I was really excited about uh, from the Nike Innovation Summit last year was the Vapormax. Since the launch, a few tidbits of the information about the shoe have come out, but for the most part, things have been relatively quiet. Scheduled to release in March, images of the shoe popped up recently showing the Vapormax outsole in detail as well as that flighted upper. We didn't get a chance to actually try them on at the summit, but I am anxious to see how they feel considering that the outsole is basically a bunch of larger than normal Air Max units, which should feel great. Some are speculating that these will show up up on Air Max Day 2017, but no word yet from the swoosh. All right, in the last show, I talked about how Adidas is bringing back the EQT support, but one model that has already been getting some love is the EQT Support 93. Seen here in a version fit for the Chinese New Year, the EQT Support 93 has been upgraded for 2017 with boost on the outsole, which should take the comfort level of these shoes up a few notches. As far as the upper goes, the color choices are minimal with the main accents coming on the heel with that rooster. Uh, the materials on this pair look lovely. Off-white leather overlays cover up most of the upper, and then they have like that faux feather like underlay thing at the toe and at the midfoot, very clean. I uh, expect these to arrive later this month on the 26th. When it comes to sneaker storylines, there are a few that I would say that stick with me and transcend the marketing side of things. One in particular is the KD Aunt Pearl story. For the KD9 update for the story, Nike leaves behind the usual bright colors and graphics we've seen up to this point and instead keeps it simple in black and hot punch. For those of you that don't know the story, KD's very close to his aunt or was very close to his aunt and uh, when he was younger and she ended up passing away due to cancer. Each year, Nike puts together a silhouette dedicated to her and gives a part of the proceeds to the K Yao Foundation. Black on the upper, hot punch on the Nike swoosh with pearl details scattered around the shoe as a nod to his aunt. These arrive next weekend and will cost you $150. All right. As a reminder, don't forget to turn on your notifications for this channel. YouTube is changing things up and it's one of the ways to make sure that my videos pop up in your feed. Okay, on the last episode of the show, the question of the day was, since LeBron has a lifetime deal with Nike, which brand would you sign a lifetime deal with? This is what Mike Chandler had to say. I would sign with Skechers. I know, crazy, I know, but the memory foam feels great, better than Boost, and when I'm old and barely can walk, that comfortability is going to be great. So, Mike, I, I don't know if I believe you, but are you gonna make me go buy a pair of Skechers to see if you're telling me the truth? You guys stay tuned to the end uh, for a few more of your responses, some very different answers from you guys, which I appreciate. Um, also, I'll show you guys what I'm rocking today. All right, for today's question of the video, a quick reminder, use hashtag QOTD in the comments if you want to submit a question. Uh, this question comes from whatever, and the question is if you had a budget of $160 and you had to pick one pair of shoes to rock every day to school for a year, what would it be? Uh, that's a very good question for me. Uh, that's kind of a hard question because I play basketball and I need something that I can play basketball in and something that I could just rock casually. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna say I'd get the Air Max Audacity because those are like a hundred bucks. And then I try to get something on clearance or a pair of Chuck Taylors or something like that with the rest of the money. I think that's cheating. Let me know what you guys would pick down below. All right, looks like that's it. So make sure you stick around for a bit more and turn on your notifications if you like what you see. I am Jacques Slade. This is the day of sneaks, and as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace. All right, all right. Here are a few of your responses for those that stuck around to the end of the last video. This one is from David Kreps. 
If I could sign a lifetime deal, it would be with New Balance slash Warrior Hockey, as I could be the cover man for the Warrior sticks, jerseys, gloves, and protection lines while getting fresh lifestyle and trainer shoes from New Balance. Also, because Warrior has a deal with the Grateful Dead is another reason besides being in love with their sticks. David is clearly a hockey fan. All right, next up we have Nick Booth. I would sign the Reebok because I love their lifestyle shoes and I run in Reebok. Worst pet name is Fritz. More about that pet stuff in just a second. And finally, we have Alec Miranda. Under Armour because they are great performance and they are just nice. Very well said. They're nice and simple. I like Under Armour as well. All right, for those of you that stuck around to the end of the last video, I saw pet names like Billy Bob Jones III, which I think is an awesome pet name. I saw Eddie Murphy. Very cool, but... Fish puppy? What? Fish puppy? I, I don't even understand that. All right, as for what I'm rocking today, it is this shoe. This is the Nike Lunar Glide 8. This is the dub side version of the shoe, and it has some like graphics here on the heel. Not exactly sure what the dub side mean, uh, means. Finish line sent this pair over, and I was uh, rocking them today just to kind of see how they feel. I've worn them a couple times already. Uh, if you follow me over on Snap or you saw my Instagram story, you saw that I had these on. So yeah, that's what I was rocking today. All right, for those that stuck around this long, leave a comment with the most overrated cartoon. Now, I know I'm gonna get some hate in the comments for this one, but I'm gonna go with SpongeBob, whatever. Come at me. Anyway, uh, that's the end of the show. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all soon. Peace.